Hey guys, tonight me and Tammy are going to be eating this uh, Great Value, which is a Walmart brand. Uh, these are uh, Pizza Dia. This is pizza plus a quesadilla equals delicious. Um, this one is the Mexican style. These were at Walmart for $6.98, uh, which is about normal for a decent pizza. Um, it's seasoned beef crumbles, tomatoes, onions, Monterey Jack, and cheddar cheeses with a roasted pepper salsa on top of a cheese quesadilla. The picture looks like really, really good. So, what you want to do is heat your oven up to 400 degrees, so it's a 400 degree oven, and um, it is 380 calories for one six, not a low calorie pizza, literally a six, if you cut that, a six of that is 300 and some calories. So half and then three slices of that half, that, that's how much it is, so definitely not low calorie. Um, so what you do is pre your oven to 400, remove the plastic from the pizza, remove this, direct, bake directly on the center rack of the pizza, I mean of the oven, just put it directly in there with no pan or anything, 19 to 21 minutes or until it's golden brown, and then let it sit for two or three minutes before slicing. So uh, this is it, and you can see it's got two layers of uh, stuff, the cheese is in the middle there, the quesadilla part. So um, I see it better if I open it. Oh, yeah. There's no cardboard underneath this one, so I'll have to get the, the cutting board out to cut it on. But I'm going to wait for my oven to heat up. Once the oven heats up, I will, uh, I will get it in the oven. All right, here it is out of the oven, and I'm going to let it sit for a minute or two, like it said. Um, it smells really, really good. You can really smell the cheese and the hamburger on there, so um, it smells wonderful. Um, and you can kind of see, um, I got it. it's a little crispy. You can hear it. Doesn't look super crispy, but you can hear it, the crispiness of it. So anyway, we'll let it sit for a minute and then we'll be back to try it. Brought Tammy in here to try it out. Uh, it might be really hot, I don't know, but we're gonna try it out. It's literally like one pizza on top of another pizza. It's, it looks really good. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. That's good. It's different. Boy, you can really taste those tomatoes, can't you? Or at least that's what I taste. Ooh, it's got a little spice to it, it too. It has spice. I'm getting the pepper. That's what I was thinking. I'm getting that pepper, too. When I first bit into it, it was a tomato. Now I'm kind of getting the spicy, meaty um, mm. flavor. I got the tomato. The tomatoes are kind of sweet tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Well. Um, but then you have the... The onion gives it a little heat, but then there's some pepper in there. Mm -hmm. I like the flavor of the meat. That's good. I, I like, like the cheese. Um, I think if I were to do again, I'd leave it in there another minute because the, the outside is really good and crispy, but the mm -hmm. inside's a little soft. Mm -hmm. You think so too? Like the very, very center. Right. So I think if I left it in there another minute, it probably would have crisped up just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But really, really good. What do you think? That's... Would you buy them again? Would you recommend people to buy them? Yeah, I, I really do, and no. I'm shocked that I'm saying that, but the flavor's it excellent. has so much flavor yeah. to it. Um, I never expected it to have that much flavor. Mm. Um, yeah, I really like this, and I, I still, I didn't understand the concept really until I saw it, uh, that it was like, like. Yeah, it was like a tortilla shell, cheese, another tortilla laid on top of there so right. that's your quesadilla part right. and they put all these mexican pizza toppings on top right i didn't understand that there were like two layers mm -hmm. and so um i wondered why does it cost so much and now i know why because they've really not only is it two layers but they've really filled it in with yeah, tons of toppings cool. here and uh those tomatoes they're like um those sun ripened tomatoes that you get um on the mm -hmm. like like those pizzas you get from johnny crinos or something mm -hmm. that's what those tomatoes remind me of is those sun ripened ones and people are gonna ask me i know that you all are gonna ask me um because we're very loyal to screaming cecilia this is completely different oh, yeah. honestly you can't even compare mm -hmm. it's two completely different um, it's like trying to compare Mexican food with Italian food. Right, completely it's different. It's just completely different. All of these are really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Not as good as Screaming Sicilian, but if Screaming Sicilian made a pizza dia, they'd probably be better, but these are really good. Yeah, these are excellent. I, I would recommend uh, that anybody try these. Yeah, but they do have a little spice to them. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.